Hey guys, Canoopsy here, and our smartphones today are amazing. They're starting to become just as capable as our computers and are our main devices for everything. Most people even use their smartphones more than they use their computers, and we're getting to a point where some people don't even need to buy a computer because they can do everything they need to do from their smartphone. Looking towards the future, smartphones will be able to become so much more than just devices that we casually use, but with the power that these devices have, they could eventually completely replace the need to buy an entirely separate computer. Let's take a look at the Note 5 for example. From a hardware standpoint, it has an 8-core processor, 4GB of RAM, and a good amount of storage. Now add a USB OTG adapter, a USB hub, a mouse, a keyboard, and if you want, a USB or HDMI monitor, and you basically have a PC that fits in your pocket or a small bag. So think about that for a second. The device you make calls on and browse social media just turn into a mini computer. Since this is an 05, you do get some extra features like advanced multitasking, but most Android phones can still perform in the same way. iPhones don't have OTG support like Android phones, but with some of the changes brought in iOS 9, it's still entirely possible to use your iPhone as a sort of mini computer. It's not just adding additional hardware to a smartphone that takes us to the next level, it's also the software. But before we get into software, I wanted to discuss the name smartphone. Phone meaning a digital phone, and smart meaning a more powerful or more capable phone. But I think that the name smartphone is underwhelming and frankly outdated. The name does not do it justice. If anything, we rarely use it as an actual phone. Most of us just text or communicate in various other social media. So if anything, the name should be mini computer or small computer or perhaps portable computer. Maybe it's time we change the name. Anyways, we'll just leave it at that. There's a convergence between mobile operating systems and desktop operating systems. As hardware becomes increasingly more powerful, mobile operating systems will be nearly or just as powerful as some laptops. And once this occurs, the only difference between devices will be the screen size. In the future, both mobile and desktop operating systems will be running the same operating system with minor adjustments for the screen size. Kind of how like websites treat different screen sizes. They simply have two versions of the same site and adjust accordingly. We're obviously not there yet, but we're getting mighty close. Take a look at my dock in OS X and compare some of the apps that I have on my iPhone. They're nearly the same. Of course, my desktop will outperform them, but that's not the point. Just like a laptop can be outperformed by a desktop. All that matters is can the software complete the goal? Can it accomplish the desired task? Take for instance, can you edit video footage on an iPhone and then upload it to YouTube? And the answer is yes you can, and many YouTubers have proven that you can. Perhaps the only real thing stopping someone from editing full time on a mobile device is the screen size. But if the screen size was desktop size, it wouldn't be any different. Many more users would use it. So the notion that a smartphone software isn't powerful enough simply isn't true. There's a lot of powerful mobile software. They can do a lot of the things that desktop operating systems can do. And this will greatly improve after each iteration of the mobile operating system. Software is matching the capabilities of the hardware. And as hardware becomes increasingly more powerful, so will the software. As I said, a convergence between mobile operating systems and our desktop operating systems is happening at a rapid pace. As mobile hardware becomes increasingly more powerful, the difference between them will disappear. Smartphones are amazing today, but think of the future. Will most consumers only buy a smartphone and not a computer? Will smartphone software advance even further? Only time will tell, but so far the future of smartphones is looking more promising than ever before. Special thanks to Trust Macintosh for joining me on this video and be sure to check out his channel as he makes some amazing videos. The link will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the future of smartphones, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.